Hello and welcome to the course about the hands-on penetration testing with PowerShell. Now let's take a look at what this course is all about. This course is divided into 8 sections. First of all, in section called PowerShell Fundamentals, we're gonna go through some basics of PowerShell to learn about command line interpreter, PowerShell commandlets, objects, models, and functions. Next, in second section named PowerShell scripts, we are going to create some PowerShell scripts and take a closer look on functions and modules. In next section of this course, section 3, which is named Reconnaissance and Scanning, we will learn how to do network host and port discovery scans and accessing files with sensitive information. Section 4 is about Active Directory where we will learn about the obtaining user credentials with PowerShell, alongside with performing client-side attacks and performing brute force attacks. Next, in section 5, which is about exploitation, we will take a look on writing PowerShell scripts and web shells for exploitation, performing privilege escalation attacks using PowerShell, and creating PowerShell payload. Section 6 is about PowerShell and Metasploit where you will see how to use PowerShell with Metasploit and learn about Metasploit Metropreter. Also, we will take a look on how to perform pass the hash attack with PowerShell. Next section is section number 7, called Backdoors, Lateral Movement and Persistence, where we will learn about creating backdoors with PowerShell, lateral movement and persistence and remoting for penetration testing purposes. And final section is section 8, named Preventing PowerShell Attacks. This section concludes our course, and in this section we will talk about reports and documentation in PowerShell, and about best practices against PowerShell attacks. When we talk about prerequisites for following this course, there is nothing special. All you need is internet connection and browser. And of course, you certainly need some basic IT knowledge especially about Windows environment and Active Directory concepts alongside with general security related knowledge that is combined with penetration testing concepts to be able to follow contents of this course. Now we're done with the introduction and let us start with this course.